something in your mattress that's supposed to save your life make you sick. New regulations went into effect this summer, designed to save hundreds of lives. Medical editor Marianne Childers, though, talked to some people who believe they carry a risk, begging the question, what might be in your mattress? The new standards make mattresses more fire resistant. They'll still burn, but not as fast, because they contain more flame resistant or FR materials. But could the chemicals that make you safer make you sick? One environmental medicine specialist says yes. We have not adequately studied these chemicals in relation to children, the unborn, the pregnant woman, the elderly. The Consumer Product Safety Commission says no way. The CPSC would have never passed a rule that allowed certain materials to be used that would harm consumers. But now some workers who handle these materials at the Simmons Mattress Plant in Janesville, Wisconsin, believe FRs are causing them health problems. As more of the FR material is being used in the mattresses, I notice uh, sinus problems and breathing problems and sharp pains in my chest. The employees complain of irritated eyes, chronic sore throats, bloody noses, respiratory problems, and painful skin rashes. We all know that we didn't have any of that before we started using the material. In response to employee concerns, Simmons hired independent testers. They found no levels of anything that violated government safety standards. But when we asked what was in their mattresses, the company did not want to tell us specific materials other than Kevlar, which is known to be non-toxic. We don't want to put our recipe out there. Daw told us employees might be reacting to soaps and detergents and fabrics and says the company provides protective gear for those who request it. But if employees are having problems, could you? I don't see any concerns for consumers with the components of our product from a health and safety standpoint. Both Simmons and Serta told us they've tested their materials for years and they pose no risk. We've proven that it's safe to our employees, it's safe to the environment, and it's safe to the consumer. But this mattress maker disagrees. I've looked to try to find a non-toxic system and I don't believe any exists. Mark Strobel makes mattresses at his Indiana factory with minimal flame retardants. Since 2003, he's been campaigning against what he considers dangerous toxic overload. They are, in fact, using boric acid, which is roach killer. Certus says boric acid is in one of the FR fibers the company uses, but it's safe. If you eat too much boric acid, it becomes poisonous. But no one's eating boric acid. No one's eating their mattress. FR materials are inside mattresses. They form a barrier just under the cover or ticking. The CPSC says... To the extent that FR chemical treatments remain bound to or within the mattress, exposure and its attendant risk would be minimized. But Mark Strobel is convinced it can get out as mattresses wear. It's close chronic exposure. You're, you're laying there with full body and breathing contact for your entire lives. Others fear that what's considered safe now might not be down the road, such as lead and paint or asbestos. I said about the long-term effects and... They said that, you know, the government wouldn't mandate anything, you know, that would have long-term effects, you know, that they knew about. And I said, you know, the government's not always right, I don't think. An OSHA report on the Simmons plant is pending. The company's confident that OSHA will find nothing wrong. Employees, incidentally, spoke anonymously to us because they don't want to lose their jobs. Even though those materials do not have to be listed on labels by law, manufacturers have to tell you what's in mattresses, but you have to ask them. The only way to get a chemical-free mattress is by prescription. And if you want to know more about what you're sleeping on, go to our website, cbs2chicago.com. Be sure and click on health. Rob Van. Well, that's a good thing to talk about because I'm sure people don't think about it until you raise the issue like you did tonight. It's interesting to check the website. Okay. All right. Thanks, Mary.